Here we have our movie app, and it has a new feature that helps us filter the movies displayed. Currently, we can use it to return any of our movies released after a certain year. Now, one of the great features of using Ecto is for composable queries. Let's walk through how this is working and how simply we can add additional filters to it. From our editor, let's open our movies index template. Here's our search form. We're using our connection and making a request to our movie path. And by using the as search, we're grouping the fields from this form in our params under the search key. Right now, we only have one field released after, which is a select field populated with a list of years. And if we open our movie view, we can see the released after years function returns the list of years that are being displayed in our dropdown. Now, when this form is submitted, a request is made to the index action on our movie controller module. So let's open that. And you can see we're using get in to get the released after field and assigning it to the variable year. We're then creating a pipeline where we take our movie and pass it into the movie released after function along with the year. This returns an Ecto query, which is then piped into repo all, returning all movies that match that query. Now let's take a closer look at that query. We'll open our movie module and our first function uses a guard clause so that when no search is performed and year is nil or an empty string, we just return the query. Otherwise, we use Ecto to query for all movies where the year is greater than or equal to the year passed in. This works because Ecto queries can take either the module or the query. The value on the right side of in needs to implement the Ecto queryable protocol. Now for our example here, this could either be an Ecto query or our movie module, since modules in Elixir are really atoms. Now this pattern works really well when we want to chain queries together. And now let's say we wanted to add the ability to filter on genres. How could we do that? First, we'll need to get all of our movie genres. So let's create another function, all genres, and we'll allow it to accept a query as well. Then we'll create an Ecto query to select all distinct genres from our movies. And let's go back to our movie controller. Then let's update our index function to use our new all genres function to get our genres. And then we'll pass our genres into our assigns so we can access them in our template. Now let's go back to our movie index template and we'll add another field to our search form. Let's make it a select called genre. And then for the values, we'll use our genres list from the assigns and we'll include a prompt of choose genre. Now, when we submit our search form, it will pass over our genre too. Let's go back to our movie controller, and now we can get our genre from the params. Now that we have our genre, we need to use it. Let's create another query. We'll open our movie module, and we'll add another function. Let's call it by genre that will take a query and a genre. Then we can write our Ecto query to get all movies that match the given genre. We'll also need to add a function to guard against when no genre is selected. And in those cases, we'll just return the query. And we'll compose it by placing it along with our other query in the pipeline. With that, we can open our browser. And now we can filter our movies by the genre and then by the year. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and happy coding.